Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial about stable diffusion web UI where you can type any text. You can decide the height width. If you type a particular seed, uh, when you generate again, you will get the same image if you want to uh, capture that. Sampling steps determine the <laughs> quality. So 50 steps generally from my experiment is taking around 20 seconds of the time. So I should have reduced it for the tutorial. So this is all deployed on Gradio and you can share this link with anyone. So this is, I can copy the clipboard, but if I want to do masking, which is super cool about this, uh, tutorial I can push image to image I can access it here Oops. awesome and it's built in advanced editor so if I want to crop mask or color anything I could do that save it and then push to the, my editor and so what if I want to let's say change this only this part of the image generation process to do to do more modern and same settings. I'll just reduce this for the tutorial. Here, if you want to keep the mask area and change anything else, everything else, you do this. If you just want to regenerate, you click this option. So let's compare. Maybe like let's keep the mask area rate so since I did 28 should be around 10 seconds you see so the keep it has kept that area and rest of the area has been regenerated so in order to do this um, I have used this repo and if you click open in collab this is a collab script uh, I'm using, but there are a few things which I had to modify uh, in this original script to make it working. And uh, I learned based on the errors it generated. So first, most thing is you got to download the stable diffusion train model. So I'm using version 1.4 and all you need to do is go to the hugging face link click on the repo and download this checkpoint after i download it i upload it to my github it's around four gigabytes so that is one very important step so let me walk you through so i loaded uh, my github connected to it and then since I didn't want to download the repo again and again when I'm using it, so instead of in, like downloading all the content in the local computer in Google Collab, I downloaded on my GitHub, uh, like on Google Drive. So this is optional. You can keep this as it is and run this this and so i'm not using like esr and cfp like esr can so i have unticked but you can keep it but the thing is like it will add two more tabs here so you need to again download and upload those models so here are 
So you take this and give this reference to the reference of your downloaded model and create a new empty folder in drive and just share the link here. And I just typed anything here. So it's, if you want, but these are the two main steps which most people might be facing error. First is in my drive stable diffusion. So here is my GitHub which I cloned and in the scripts folder where so we are running web file here so you can see we are basically running this script and in this script the first error you might face is the reference uh, for your config you need to change the path to so stem in Stable Diffusion Optimize SD. So V1 Reference YAML. So change the path here. And so here is, there might be like two fonts hard coded here. So I deleted one and gave reference to Arial TTF here. And then just run it hopefully then you will get this interface where you can either test share it with your team on gradio and have fun hope you like the quick tutorial i think i i forgot it's not the checkpoint file it's the yaml file which uh, a hard-coded reference was uh, making there that's it